Hey folks, Mad Rabbit here, back in uh, Medieval Minecraft. Um, I wanted to go over the uh, the map and stuff today, and I wanted to show you a few uh, small things I've made. Um, I, as you remember, the end of last episode, I kind of made mention really quickly, and I also kind of mentioned in that more recent channel update video about uh, possibly being able to build um, templates of your own, buildings of your own, villages even... Um, landscapes, uh, all kinds of things that I'm going to want people to help me with in the future. Um, basically using MC Edit and creating schematics out of it and um, that's really what I've been doing all along here on the first earlier, these earlier episodes you're not going to see much land stuff in the landscape. It's mainly just um, you know you're, you're going to see a few building projects as usual tutorial type things but um, most of it's me. I'm still mapping out the uh, the coastline. I wanted to give you a nice presentation today of the uh, of the map. So here's the map. Okay, so um, here we are on the map. This is kind of a pulled out view of the whole continent. I'm only only like um, I have to, I have to, hard to explain where I am. I'm gonna kind of zoom into each area. Um, it's kind of the upper upper right upper left. Sorry. Um, that um, upper left, upper right, <laughs> yeah, okay. So some areas are, as you can see, are um, actually labeled with names that I, I, you know, I know that I have names for. Um, and some of these areas are not very well developed yet. So yeah, that's that's sort of all of it right there. Alright, so we are currently at that little dot in the upper, uh, that big black dot in the upper, uh, upper left. So, um, yeah, that's sort of where I'm started the, uh, the coastline a little bit, a little bit further to the, uh, east of our position here, going along measuring it. And as you see here in the map, just south of that, uh, that's the city of Omen, kind of that, a little bit north of the, uh, the center area. I am I basically that's where I've uh, along this 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 side of the coast the uh, the west side of the coast that's as far as I've gotten um, just to where that city is so that's as you can see I've not even touched the, the surface if you look at that big map again okay so the rest of the footage here is uh, me building different things um, what you saw at the beginning there kind of uh, more, I guess these are sort of not, they're either shacks or they're like small, um, I got like almost like, like for the extremely poor, or like maybe you can almost consider them, uh, some of them are going to kind of actually be like, uh, sheds for, uh, you know, for farmers or something. So that they're meant to be extremely small and actually look kind of poor looking. Um, so that's it's just I want like you know a, a large group of stuff I can actually uh, pick and choose from, kind of using the uh, more rustic colorations and stuff for the for uh, things here too. As you can see in the background, I don't show too much of it. Yeah, I do show a little bit of it. Okay, um, trying to make templates, and this is sort of what I'm going into here about talking about stuff that you guys could do. To help me out um, in the future, I have not yet announced this is official yet. Remember, but I plan on having like a more of a an official presentation of what I would like people to help me with, as far as this goes. Um, but this is sort of what I'm thinking of. Like you would be able to help me by um, building things using MC Edit. And the link is in the description for that. Basically, taking an area sort of like these squares and um, saving them and I would be able to implement them in my world um, of course that's sort of dependent upon uh, I want to test out this one website that specifically hosts MC Edit schematics because um, always it's always been one of the, the stumbling blocks for me is that a lot of these um, websites that that host files are uh, they just seem to be late, they just bogged down with tons of uh, adware and whatnot. So uh, what I'm hoping for is maybe to uh, 
get a site where we're not going to have to deal with that whole lot of that, you know. Um, so what I want to do is I want to test this site out and try downloading and uploading a few things and see if it works just as a test. Because I personally don't want to get a virus on my computer by going to uh, some of these these sites that, you know, like a lot of the mods for Minecraft are hosted on like Mediafire and um, some of these other ones. And they just got tons of these pop-ups and, and my, my antivirus is screaming at me usually whenever I go to these sites. So I just, you know, that to me, that's a whole, that's a, that's kind of a, uh, you know, it's always been a hang up for me to upload anything to the internet. Um, cause I just don't trust those sites. I really don't. It's not fun dealing with viruses and whatnot. So, um, yeah, so that's sort of what's, it's contingent upon that stuff. I want to, I just haven't had time to test any of that stuff out yet. So if it's if it seems like it's going to work okay and not give us a problem as far as that stuff goes, because um, I'm pretty sure that uh, I will probably open this up as if an official proposal saying, "Hey, you guys can help me out. You know, upload your own schematics, and I'll be able to uh, implement them in this world. I will put them in different locations." I might want to refer back to those maps earlier. I have whole parts of land that I could put like villages in all over the place if you want to make something big like a village. I got mountain ranges. I'm going to need hills. I'm going to need te uh, forest templates, which you'll see in a little bit here. I actually show you some of my forest templates I started on. Um, small houses of tons. I mean, I'll need tons of types, but they'll have to meet a certain quality because if you just put up some, some piece of crap house, I'm just not going to. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to put it up there, but this is an opportunity for people to uh, kind of get a, maybe a little bit of exposure for themselves and their channel and their creations if they want to, uh, you know, if they want that for their channel, I guess. I don't know if they plan, some people maybe are just aren't planning on uh, uploading stuff to their channels, but even if just if it's just to, just to show their stuff, maybe they want to do that, but even if you don't, you, know, you can still contribute anyway and uh, get credit. So that's up to you. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'd want to talk about. We're pretty much done here. This is just sort of a farm, kind of a, a barn, basically. And I'll kind of just show you some of the uh, forest templates. And we'll end it here. My my allergies are killing me, so you have to forgive me for some of this wheezing and stuff. Oh, I've been having a real rough time of it with that. So, yeah, here's just some of the forest templates on our way out here. So in the coming couple episodes, I'll probably try to come up with more of a determination of exactly what I'm going to propose for this. But uh, listen to the end of last episode in the channel update video from recently. And, um, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys will want to participate a little bit. It's just small things like these, you know. That uh, if you can save them as schematics MC edit, I will I'll take a look at them and um, off this site, and if I approve of them, I'll, I'll put them in. And um, yeah, so I guess that's it, guys. I will see you next time. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll what I'll do next time, but uh, maybe a few more tutorials until the landscape actually gets complete and done. It's really gonna kind of be difficult to do uh, stuff in the environment, but um, yeah, so. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this and this was helpful to you. And if it was, maybe you should make sure you hit the thumbs up on the way out. And I will see you next time. Adios, folks.